guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing a 2023 Christmas wishlist ideas video. So I filmed one of these last year, but I filmed it in like the middle of December. Lots of people asked for their presents in December. I feel like majority, like I start asking for presents like now, like in the end of November. So yeah, I wanted to film this video a bit earlier this year, so I give you like time to ask for these presents. I also had nothing to film. I haven't posted in three weeks, which is really bad. I wanna actually apologize for being so inactive. It's just cause like, I have school and like, I don't know what I'm supposed to film if I'm going to school every day. Like, I wake up, go to school, come back, either do homework, go to netball or like sleep because I do nothing after school. I'm so unproductive. I actually have nothing to film and I feel like it's so boring if I'm just filming like morning routines. Even though I know you guys like them, but I feel like if I'm just constantly posting them, it's like, is that all I do? You would not believe what I've just done. So I just filmed my intro, filmed the whole video like two hours later. I'm just trying to upload it to my camera. I have deleted the whole 20 minute video I just filmed. So I'm refilming it now. So <laughs> this is me in the future, but it's still the same video. Anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure you subscribe as we're so close to 200K. I've made a massive notes list. Let me show you guys because it's actually ginormous. These are all the ideas I've got. There must be like over 100 in here. I'm gonna start off by doing clothes. First thing is white fox track suits or just anything from white fox in general. And they're actually having a Black Friday sale soon. So if you guys wanna get some now, I feel like this is the best time to order. Stussy hoodies, I really want one of them. Like the one, they have a specific one with like a eight ball on the back. It's so cool, I really want it. Citizen Seekers are also a really good brand for hoodies. I have the yoga one. And then I recently got one that says like Seekers jeans on. Any from Adenola, they also do hoodies. And they have a really nice t-shirt that I want that says add it on. I've also seen a load of people wearing like lounge sets as well from the brand lounge, but also just lounge sets in general. There's this brand called In In The Print or something like that. And they sell like graphic baby tees with like graphic pictures on. So there's one with like a disco ball. There's one with like a bow on. So nice with like jeans and shoes. I really like these New Balance ones. They're giving dad shoes, but I also really like them. They're giving like clean girls. So I think they're the 530s or Uggs. But if you want, Uggs are so expensive and they're always out of stock. But go on Star Mart, guys. Genuinely, I know it doesn't work that well because the app's like glitching, but they do the best Ugg dupes and they're like £16, like a quarter, a quarter. Like, I don't know how much the Uggs are, but like so much cheaper. The jumpers are like off the shoulder. They're so cool. I want one of them. They do them in H&M, but they're always out of stock. I'll put a picture up. I can't really explain. If the line keeps changing, it's because I keep having to stop the video to upload, but anyway. The next category is comfy clothes. So Victoria's Secret pajamas. I get these like every Christmas. They're my favorite things ever. So I have the short ones and the long ones. And then also Victoria's Secret do the nicest like dressing gowns ever. I have like a spotty one. It's like pink with spots on. It's the softest thing. And it just makes me feel so like bougie while I get ready. Pretty little thing also do really good pajamas are like very similar to Victoria's Secret but much cheaper for like £20. There's like pink ones, black ones, white ones, they're really giving like clean girl. Um, anything from Skims, they're like little sets, ones with like shorts and tank tops. I have one in like a grey and I wear it all the time when I'm getting like ready. And also on like boy shorts, like boxer shorts, Brandy Melville also do some. But they do them in like the cutest little patterns for like, I think they're like £11 each. Have these little love heart ones, they're so cute. You can also sleep in them as well. Slippers, any type. I have these Primark ones are so comfy and fluffy. Like how soft do they look? They're like seven pounds. Go on Sheen guys and ask for these massive like fluffy snowball. They're a bit dirty now because I've had them for like a year. But aren't they giving? These are giving Christmas like snowballs, like snow. But yeah, they're the comfiest, like fluffiest things. They're just so cool to have on your feet. Okay, now moving on to hair care. First one is the GHD heat protectant. I kill my hair by straightening it like every day. So I need some good heat protectant and that one's supposed to be good. I also want some new like hair tools to do different styles. So I'm gonna ask for the Mark Hill. They do like a pick and mix like hair tool kit. You just get the barrel and then you can like replace the heads of the different hair tools. So I want the hair waver that like crimps it. Gives you hair perfume. I have the oil, but apparently the hair perfume is supposed to be really good, like make your hair smell all day. Anything from Beauty Works, they do like a miracle, I think it's like a conditioner, it's like a white bottle, that looks good. And they do like an argan oil that's supposed to also be good with like a pumpy bottle. Anything from Way, I got the shampoo and conditioner last year, but they do like a hair perfume, they do hair oils, living proof shampoo. If you're looking for a more high end dry shampoo, the living proof one is £20 for a dry shampoo, which is quite expensive, but genuinely it makes your hair smell so nice and it also adds so much volume. Also, excuse if I keep looking down, I've got my phone here hair wrap. So instead of putting a towel on after you like wash your hair, I find it just dries my hair faster. Heatless curlers or rollers for your hair. Heatless curlers like two pound machine and so are rollers like a pound for a pack of like ten. Next is skincare. So Glow Recipe. I have so many products from Glow Recipe. Tone is amazing. The moisturizer I have the plum plump one and the spray is so good. I put it on my, my face before and it's made it all shiny again. These 
these products are so good and you can get them in gift sets. Korean skincare guys, genuinely, if you want like the most glass like clear skin, go to Yes Style and get some Korean skincare. It's such a good present to ask for because they're not too expensive either. Road, I really want to try their lip treatments and like the milky like, it's like a toner, it looks really nice. Blazing milk, that's it. Charlotte Tilbury do like a little mini magic cream and magic serum set. It's £40 I think for like minis but I still want to try it out, it's really nice. Um, Ordinary, that's more affordable for like a stocking filler. The serums, my favourite are Hyaluronic or Niacinamide. It's like £8 for a bottle. And then I love Laneige, so like any of their Laneige lip masks have a ton. Um, and I recently got a grapefruit one and then I also love the lip like glowy balm. So yeah, Laneige is so good. Yeah, I love the Summer Fridays ones. This is the lip butter balm in pink sugar, so good. And then finally you can ask for like makeup advent calendars because they have like loads of different types of makeup in like Cult Beauty, Sephora, Look Fantastic, Boots. They do all beauty advent calendars. They have loads of products in so like you can try out loads of different ones. Moving on to makeup. So Charlotte Tilbury gift set. So do one with like a lipstick, a lip liner, a lip gloss, like mascara in. And it's like £40 which I think is a good deal for getting like five different products. I really want to get like a new concealer. So either Lancome. I want like a thick one. So Lancome or Huda Beauty. Some dual lip oils but I don't want this type. I want like the long one. I think it's the maximizer. This one's really good but I want to try a different style and I love the pink like maximizer one. It looks really pretty. P. Louise products. I love P. Louise so much. My favourite products of theirs the lip oils and the lip conditioners and then the blushes. Refine makeup. I recommend the lip liner, the bronzer, the blush and their brush. I really want to try the Gisu lip oil. But everyone says it tastes kitchen oil. No, vegetable oil and I don't really want that on my lips. But it does look pretty and like I buy things because they look nice. Moving on to perfume. So I obviously saw the Janeiro. I have it in a big size. So I use it all the time. It smells of like fresh but also like sweet. It's a really nice scent and I feel like it's good for just all year round. Bare Vanilla. I'm going to ask for the lotion and the spray because it's the most like wintery scent. I really recommend it because I remember I went to the hairdressers with it on and a lady was like, oh you smell so nice what are you wearing. So go get Bare Vanilla. Zara Wear Temptation is also a really good affordable perfume. Fitness Mini was only like £12 and it lasts all day like it's such a strong perfume it's a Baccarat Rouge dupe I've never smelt the real Baccarat Rouge if you're getting Miss Dior I really recommend getting the body spray because it's so big like that is how much you get it's like 100 mil I think or 50 but it's only 49 pound like the perfume is like 50 for just like the 30 mil Ariana Grande perfumes I really want to get the mod vanilla and the pink cloud Way perfume is given like clean girl like in the little bottle I really want to smell that also guys if you can recommend me good perfumes like more expensive ones I'm going to Selfridges soon to smell them but I want to ask one of my grandparents and I don't know which ones are good so recommend me good perfumes down below. I really want to try replica as well. It's just giving like aesthetic. I love the packaging. And next on to jewellery. So I really want to get some more Joma Jewels bracelets because at the moment I only have this little love heart one but there's one with a bow on. It's so cute. You can also ask for Pandora stuff so like their rings. I really want a Pandora ring. They're so pretty like with the little love hearts on or a Pandora charm bracelet because you can get like the charms for like your birthdays and stuff. I feel like it's a nice like memory thing. My sister has one. It's actually so nice. She's got it all like pink as well. Well. You can ask for just like designer dupes, so like a Van Cleef necklace. It's obviously not real, but you can get dupes off like Saramar, and they're so nice. Like the jewelry is so good off Saramar. You could also ask for a letter necklace. I got this last Christmas. I wear it every day. It's my favourite necklace ever. And then you can ask for the little charms to go on it. I have the white gummy bear charm. I recommend La Visa, Prior, Every Jewels, and Anna Luisa for jewelry. My final category is random things. So you can ask for jelly cats. I have four pink jelly cats. I got them all for like different things. So this one I got. Got when I hit 100k my friends bought me it. This one I got for my birthday. It's a little pig. I got it off Ruby. Then I got this. This is my favourite. I got them this mushroom when I went on holiday with my family. It's like a massive head. This little axle I got last Christmas with Matilda when we went Trafford together. All these like I got at different occasions so they're so cute. I really want a little marshmallows. You could ask for like body care so like tree hut scrubs or the Sunday like shower foams. They're my favourite thing for when you're shaving. It makes your skin so smooth after. You could ask for a digital camera. I finished school this year so my summer I feel like it's going to be really good so I feel like I want a digital camera to like take loads of pictures on so I'm gonna ask for one but I don't actually know what a good brand for a digital camera is I found this one but I don't know if it's actually good or not so I'm gonna have a look around for that if you want to get into like YouTube or filming and stuff maybe you've started growing an audience but you want to get more like I don't know more professional equipment I recommend the Canon G7X like they do like a vloggers kit if that's a really good present to ask for for Christmas it comes with a camera a tripod like the memory card and everything you could ask for a diffuser I use my mini one all the time but I'm actually gonna ask for a big one this time and then along with that you can ask for essential oil you could also ask for makeup 
bags and makeup organizers. So I got this makeup bag last Christmas. It says like my name on and I got some Miley London so you can like personalize them or you could get like the spinning rotating organizers that I have. You can ask for a Victoria's Secret blanket. I don't actually know if you can get them anymore but they look really nice on Pinterest and they say like Victoria's Secret down and it's like pink. A Stanley cup but don't get the real one unless you live in America but if you live in the UK and you want to get the real one don't pay like 50 quid for like the brand. You may as well get a fake one off of TikTok shop for literally like eight pounds. They look the exact same which without the logo. And then finally you could ask for journals. Favourites are the five minute journal. That's my whole Christmas wish list idea. I hope that like gave you some inspiration. I have more ideas but I don't want to make this video too long. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's my second time filming this. My throat is killing me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Please subscribe again because we're so close to 200k. I really want to hit it by like the new year or like Christmas. So remember last Christmas I hit 50k. Well, imagine if I could hit 200k a year later. That would be actually crazy. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm going to try to post more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.